So this is me out here in the middle of the Dead Sea. But before I get to this part of the story, let me take you guys back a little bit. So if you're watching this video, it's been 24 hours since I've been in Jordan and I have to say it's been a pretty good vibe so far. Absolutely breathtaking. I'm here with a nice travel group, getting some photos, getting some content. We spend the night at a outdoor tent kind of vibe or outdoors in the desert. I'm have sneak in a video for you guys. So trying to show you more of what it's like behind the scenes. I know say oh, it might seem glamorous and thing, but this journey has been super, super tiring. You see me? Um, extremely hot. You know, as you can see, it's big, wide open terrain. What I can say is if you're coming here, definitely be prepared to be trekking and walking around a lot. It is a very rough journey on the body. I mean, overall, I've been walking for super long and it's extremely hot, so come prepared. I would highly recommend it if you're someone that's into like scenic views and scenic places, because look at this, like it's breathtaking. It really is amazing to see all the, you know, landscape and architecture here. It's been a really interesting experience talking to persons and hearing about their culture. It really feels like some epic landscape. Apparently lots of movies have been shot here. So definitely lots of history here. Definitely lots of like amazing architecture. Overall, that's a great experience. People here are friendly so far. I mean, there's still different cultural norms. I'm with a group that, you know, is very energetic. What's up, bro? <laughs> uh, so just basically getting used to everything and it's yeah, getting used to the different customs and norms so I mean overall half a say it's been a really good trip so far still haven't done much we did like a little sand tour we did like of like a cave cavern kind of vibes did a camel tour where apparently camels you know are <laughs> afraid of our movements Yeah, bet, bet. Yes, yeah, a duty calls. Duty calls, guys. Like, just think of any space movie. And this is exactly how this spot looks. This is the outside view from my room. Hoping to give you guys some drone, well not drone shots, hoping to give you guys some talking head shots before it gets too dark. All right, so let's give you guys that room tour. All right, so first of all, we're in the bubble. Let's open this. All right, so first thing they told me is when you open it is you have to open the first door. Then you have to make sure you close the first door before you open the next one. Reason being, apparently, it will let out the air. So when you push this, you can kind of feel it. Ah. But we're back again. And check out the room. All right. Vibes, vibes, so super sunlight view, like into the sky. This is like so amazing. All right, giving you guys that bathroom tour. Showing love to the videographer. Make sure you guys subscribe. Like, if you're trying to see more content like this, I need you guys to show me by hitting that subscribe button. But yeah, not a lie, this view is absolutely breathtaking. But basically, this is my quick summary on my day today at Jordan. Uh, today was a really amazing day. I know we're at our second hotel. Again, out there in the middle of the desert. But no, we're actually, actually in like a bubble tent. So this tent is actually filled up with air. So you open one door, then you use the second door. But you have to close the first door so you don't let out all the air. So yeah, it's just like a really cool experience. First time ever being somewhere like this. First time ever traveling to the Middle East. I mean, I've traveled a lot, 
but I've never been to somewhere like this before. This is like an entirely different perspective for me. And I have to say, it's really humbling to experience so much different cultures and kind of, you know, get a, a feel of what it's like to be somewhere else. My view right now is so like beautiful. It's like, it's not even funny, yo. I feel like I'm in any one of those movies, like any movie that has a desert, a lot of my favorite shows I know have been shot here, like Dune. Like, I know people probably hate on Dune because Dune probably isn't the best, like, or the easiest thing to understand story-wise, but the cinematics in Dune was epic. And looking here, you can tell that something like Dune would have been shot here. Also, Star Wars, which I'm a super huge Star Wars fan, also shot here. So yeah, definitely has that cinematic vibes that I personally love. So yeah, I mean, I really appreciate it here. But tomorrow, we're probably going to be switching things up, exploring the city of Petra which Petra is a world wonder. I have been to one world wonder before, which is the Colosseum in Rome, but I really would love to experience all the world wonders. I don't think I'm gonna to get to go to all them, but I wouldn't mind in my lifetime, it would be a dream of mine to actually experience all the world wonders. So it's gonna be really nice to know I kicked two off the bucket list by 30. So yeah, the Colosseum and tomorrow the city of Petra. And who knows, maybe we might see something else in the near future. But yeah, like overall, I have to say, really big in the vibe here. Loving the experience. I won't lie to you, if I'm being totally honest, I think the food kind of has to grow on you. I haven't been loving the food like too, too much. Uh, I don't know, like, I don't want to be that guy that hates on other countries' food, but it's, it, I feel like it does taste some getting used to. I always like to try things before I hate on it, and I really did try it. So far, all I've had was chicken and like various, I guess, vegetables and like you know olive oil big mixed stuff like uh, the bread was really nice the bread and like i don't know what was the other thing it was kind of like a dough kind of thing but those were okay but like i did not love the i did not love a lot of what i had the chicken was fine but i don't know like i don't want to write off the food just yet it's only been one day so let's see how the food goes for the future but yes thus far experience Definitely for beauty and scenes, like just a scenic route, 10 out of 10 experience. But still waiting to see kind of like more activities. Camel riding was okay, but it's not like, you know, the most fun just riding a camel. We didn't get to slide on the sand dunes. Unfortunately, the boards weren't available. So um, for me personally, like for me as an individual, I kind of love those action packed um, things. So I like anything that's like adrenaline based. I'll jump out a, a hot air balloon, I will, you know, slide down sand dunes, I'll jump off a waterfall. So I kind of like those kind of more adventurous kind of stuff. So personally, I don't know if that set has been, you know, fulfilled as yet because I'm more of an action sports kind of guy. Hear me out, GoPro, hear me out. But yeah, more of an action sports kind of guy. So I wouldn't mind doing some more action sportsy. Woo, woo. Oh yeah, I think there's a point in the tent where like, I don't know if it's helium or whatever, but like my voice got really light. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't experienced anything too crazy like action sports wise. So that is something that I feel like could be missing. But overall, great experience so far. Really excited to see. I think the thing that I'm most excited about is the Dead Sea because apparently the Dead Sea has a super high salt water concentration. So what that does, it stops you from going down. So no matter how deep it is, it's almost like it, the buoyancy is pretty high. Let me stop using fancy words. Basically, you can't go under, you're gonna float. So even if you can't swim, it pushes you up. So I can't swim, but that's gonna be a really cool experience. I guess the only thing they say is to make sure you don't have any cuts or open your eyes because it will burn like hell because it's super salty. So yeah, day one, Jordan, feeling the vibe so far, loving the experience. Hope to see what day two has to offer. All right, so the remainder of the video now is actually gonna be me narrating because I had no more time to do talking headshots. So now we're actually on our way to the city of Petra, which is a world wonder, one of the seven great world wonders. Right now this is our tour guide showing us um, basically some red mud that apparently people used to use as makeup. This is like probably the oldest makeup in existence. Um, it has like a red dye, they'd use it to like put on their face as foundation. They use it to dye their hair, all kinds of stuff. Right here is, you know, a bunch of like cliff kind of caverns kind of stuff because apparently a lot of the city was underwater it has like some really you know interesting shapes because basically it was submerged you know like in a lot of what we're seeing right now was actually like underwater obviously not while the city was built but like at some point in history 
so yeah this is petra it is i guess the oldest city in existence and i have to say it was very you know breathtaking what i will also add is that it was a little bit nerve-wracking because there are a lot of um i guess different like vendors or like hustlers so when we just got there you know a lot of persons were you know asking us you know different questions if we wanted to go on camel rides if we wanted a tour guide i won't lie to you it can be a little bit overwhelming and then to get to the nice photo spot we have to climb up like a cavern kind of vibe so we're climbing a cavern now this is me <laughs> uh yeah you know as the guy in the group they tend to leave it behind but it's fine you know we're used to the rough life but yeah so basically climb up some caverns to get all the way to the top once you get to the top that's where we can get some really epic photos definitely i would say that like overall you know it's a it's a beautiful place but it it can be a bit overwhelming again you know it's a very steep climb a very um tall mountain and if 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 you know maybe like you're a more reserved person you will be overwhelmed because there are a lot and i say a lot like a lot of different like you know vendors and i guess like tour guides so just like be prepared for that uh at first they were a bit abrasive but i guess after we spoke to them i would kind of like chill though they're a lot more nice but just be mindful of how you speak to persons you know i guess they're very big on their respect and just be mindful of like your energy uh because honestly if you treat them good they treat you back good but i guess they can easily be offended so yeah just be mindful of that especially since like you know they speak english but they probably don't have the best english and yeah so up here climbing this huge um cliff which yeah, for the most part it's safe like I, I can see where accidents could happen here but for the most part it's it, it's pretty safe it's nothing that you have to probably worry about this is me again i was getting that view i forget like i forget that dope view for you guys even like while on the cliff side i have to like have my camera out which probably isn't the safest thing to do but that's just me like i'm an adventure but yeah so pretty much we took a few pictures we got some videos it was a little bit hectic interacting with all the tourists and the tour guides what did always set out to do now after that this is where we head to the real part of the journey we're going on a four hour journey heading to the dead sea now the dead sea as the title of this video suggests is the lowest point on earth and the girls are here reading the rules because apparently because it's so salty you're not advised to stay in the water for too long so we head down there it's a little decent walk how we got access to the dead sea is that we're staying at a hotel i believe it's called hotel ishtar or something like that i guess part of their premises is at the dead sea so yeah you know a decent little trek but it is very very vast very beautiful and again an overall interesting experience eventually after having gotten down there i decided to, okay i'm gonna head there again the next day on my own so I'm going down there and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna get some shots with the GoPro because why not get some shots with the GoPro? This is exactly what the GoPro is built for. I know salt water isn't good for cameras, but the GoPro is waterproof, right? So yeah, I decided I'm gonna take a little quick shower before I go in because you know, I just wanna wash off any dirt off my body. Taking a little shower, washing my hair, just getting ready to actually go into the water because you know, I'm about to head into the Dead Sea for the first time. So what's interesting about the water is that it feels very different. It doesn't feel like regular water, like the regular ocean water. It has this weird feeling in it and I guess it's because of the high salt concentration. But yeah, finally made it here to the Dead Sea. I'm super excited. It might not show on my face, but this is just something that I thought was so amazing and I'm so grateful to have finally been here and be able to show you guys. And I put the GoPro in the water and then it dies. Unfortunately, there was a hole in the GoPro and apparently it didn't really show until I submerged it into the water, but <laughs> All right So even though I lost the GoPro in that little incident I was able to get the new GoPro Hero 12 so look out for that review video coming soon Can't wait to share with you the exciting features my experience and just overall what using it is going to be like. I am beyond excited, haven't opened it yet, but yeah, definitely look out for that soon. <laughs> 